Tim Man here from SP. As you're probably aware by now, we got the horrible news. We lost James Karen either this morning or late last night. And uh, yeah, bummer, bummer. What an actor. What an actor. Return of the Living Dead. My, my favourite, by far. But, you know, so many roles. Return of the Living Dead, Return of the Living Dead Part 2, Poltergeist. Mulholland Drive, he was on Seinfeld. He actually had 204 roles in TV and video. 204, that's just amazing. The guy was working, at, he's got something that's not even been released yet, you know, and uh, he was working the whole time, you know, fair play to him. So, leaves behind a, a wife and a son, one of them things, but 94 years old he was, 94, that's an amazing run was born in 1923. That's amazing, the things you must have seen. If you have got uh, Return of the Living Dead, uh, watch More Brains, his interviews on the, on the, the special features of, of More Brains. You can tell from watching the video, he's such a nice guy. So yeah, shame he's gone. 94 though, good run. You can't, you can't fault that, can you? So I'm spinning this tonight in memory of him. And I'm going to leave you with a few clips from Return Living Dead, mainly Return Living Dead, and maybe clips from number two as well, because, you know, means loads. Favourite horror of a favourite horror of all time. Yeah, so rest easy, James Karen. You were one of a kind, and uh, tip my hat to you. So keep your eye out for more SP footage. Stay tuned, stay safe, stay sick. Where do you get all these skeletons from? Oh, they come from India. Oh, India? International treaty. All skeletons come from India. No kidding, how come? How the hell do I know how come? The important question is, where do they get all the skeletons with perfect teeth? I'm gonna ask you a serious question. How many people you know die with a beautiful, perfect set of choppers in their puss, huh? Nobody I can think yeah. of. Yeah, no, I think that there's a skeleton farm over in India. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, kid. Let me ask you a question, kid. Did you see that movie, Night of the Living Dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one where the corpses start eating the pupil, right? Sure. What, what about it? Did you know that movie was based on a true case? <laughs> Come on, you're shitting me, right? I ain't never been more serious in my life. That's not possible. I mean, they showed zombies taking over the world. They changed it all around. What really happened was, back in 1969 in Pittsburgh at the VA hospital, there was a chemical spill and all that stuff kind of leaked down into the morgue and it made all the dead bodies kind of jump around as though it was alive. What chemical? 245 trioxin, it's called. It was to kind of spray on marijuana or something. And the Darrow Chemical Company was trying to develop it for the Army. And they told the guy who made the movie that if he told the true story, they'd just sue his ass off. So he changed all the facts around. So what really happened? Well, they closed it all down, see? And the Army shipped all that contaminated dirt and all those dead bodies out. And they kept it a secret. So how come you know about it? <laughs> what typical army fuck up? The transportation department got the orders crossed. And they shipped those bodies here. And crematorium, that's beautiful! You think you can get him to go along with it? I don't know. I've known Ernie about 25 years. He might do it out of friendship. I'm not sure. Yeah, but what the hell are you gonna tell him? I mean, can you trust that bastard? Oh my god! Oh! 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 Oh, oh you son of a bitch! Oh, we fucked her! Well, what's happening? The cadaver! The cadaver! Oh, what's it doing in there? I don't know, it's unsure! Oh, what are we gonna do? Lock it in! Yeah! Oh, are we going crazy? No, it's that crap on the tanks! That goddamn chemicals! It's all over everything! Stupid asshole! Watch your tongue, boy, if you like this job! Like this job? Think! No, you don't want to call the cops. You know what the cops will do to this company? Who cares about the company? Well, think of my reputation. Your reputation. Think! 
tank. What about the number on the side of the tank? The one that said to call in case of an emergency? No, that's the army. You know what the goddamn army around this place? Yeah. They... Well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to call the boss. Bert, Frank, we have a little problem. Oh.